Occasionally, there are failures of structures known as tailings dams. I'd like to see this with a few questions. What are tailings? Why are they in a dam? And why do the dams actually fail? Well, tailings are a byproduct of some types of mining. This mining can produce three distinct outputs. Firstly, there's the valuable ore that the mining was extracting. Then there's what's known as overburden, which is a rock and soil which are on top of the ore bearing rock. This overburden needs to be removed before the ore can be extracted. Rock and soil can normally be replaced where it was once the mining has been completed or otherwise easily disposed of. However, the final product of mining is the rock that was actually surrounding or actually mixed in with the valuable ore. In order to separate out the valuable ore from the surrounding material, the rock may be crushed, washed with water, or chemically treated. Precise methods used would depend upon the ore actually being extracted and the regulations in the country involved. Once the ore has been extracted, you're then left with the residue to deal with. This residue is collectively known as tailings. Now, some of these tailings may be small pieces of rock, some might be liquid sludge, others might be contaminated water. Since these tailings contain some toxic chemicals and pollutants, they're difficult to dispose of easily in a safe manner, especially since there's generally so much of it. So what happens in some locations is a nearby tailings dam is constructed. The solid remnants can be combined with earth and rock to create a solid structure of the dam. The more liquid residue is placed behind the dam wall. The reason for the rock and earth construction is twofold. Firstly, the dam is designed to be a permanent feature, so it's supposedly built to last. Secondly, as more ore is being extracted from the mine, more tailings are created, so the size of the dam continues to grow, as does the volume of liquid contained behind it, until these dams can become some of the largest structures ever built. It does create several problems. Firstly, the tailings themselves may be toxic, so it may contaminate the local environment, damaging local wildlife, polluting the air and water supply. However, the incidents which normally make the news are when tailings dams fail. This can be down to poor planning, poor maintenance, or even an earthquake. These situations are made more likely when there is corruption or lax government regulation and monitoring of these dams. Alternatively, it can be when the mining company that is operating the dam runs into financial difficulties. While the failure of a normal dam can be quite a dangerous event, this is magnified in the case of a tailings dam due to the size of the dams, the amount of water they are built to contain, along with the lack of warning when a tailings dam collapses. Finally, there's the toxic nature of the water contained by a tailings dam, all of which combine to make a tailings dam collapse a very dangerous event. The potential toxic nature of the water release also makes rescue and clean up of a tailings dam collapse extremely complex.